Hey, thanks for stopping by. Before we get started today, I just wanted to thank you so much for the contributions that you guys have made to my channel by hitting that thanks button uh, on your YouTube panel. Uh, with those funds, I bought a lapel mic uh, that goes with my audio system, so I'm hoping it brings a little bit better audio for my content. So thanks again, I really appreciate that. In today's content, we're gonna talk about two uh, different features in Lightburn that were absolute game changers for me from a design perspective. And they're called Use Selected Origin and uh, Cut Selected Graphics. They're in your laser tab and typically they're turned off as a default. And what you'll find when we get into Lightburn and I show you how these function is if you're like me, I typically, when I'm doing a design from scratch, I'll have all kinds of graphics and different elements of my design on my desktop. Typically, I'm pretty regimented about the, the layer colors that I use, meaning that red is cut, blue is engraved, those kind of things. And I try not to stray off of that. That way I can tell what, uh, what I'm doing. Um, the problem with that is if you don't use these two features in Lightburn, anything that's the same layer color, it's going to want to send that to the laser when in fact I only might want just a portion of that design to actually go to the laser until I refine my design. Once you see how these uh, two options work in the, la in the laser panel, you'll be amazed on how easy it is to go ahead and pick and choose on what you really want it, uh, to go to the laser. I will tell you that it will add an additional step to your process but I think you'll find that once you get used to it, uh, it gives you a lot more opportunity to be uh, a little more creative and save yourself actually a lot of time because that way you don't have to worry about changing uh, a lot of different graphics to another color, turning it off, those kind of things. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into Lightburn. I'll show you where these two features live. I'll demonstrate to you the difference between the way Lightburn comes in as a default and the way you have to use it versus uh, using these two features in Lightburn. And I think you'll agree that in a lot of cases, especially if you're doing your own designs, it will make a huge difference in the way you approach your design. Let's go check it out. Okay, to get started, we're going to be dealing primarily with the laser pane today and I'm going to be using user origin with the upper left hand uh, corner selected. That's my preferred um, start from. And so what I wanted to do is talk to you a little bit about these two features right here. Cut selected graphics and use selection origin. These two features are typically uh, off as a default. And so what I wanted to show you today was how Lightburn acts with these off versus what happens when you turn these two on. And so one of the things with me is I never have just one thing on my desktop. I have, this is a good example right here where I would have maybe I'm doing a leatherette uh, patch. I've got my logo on three different size patches and I just want to start to look to see what looks best. And currently the way it's set up, if I only want to look at or send one at a time to the laser, I have to uh, change these colors and make sure that all of the outputs for all of the other um, graphics are off in order to, to, to output just a single thing to the laser. If I would leave all the rest of these colors on, you could see that everything's going to go to the laser and that's not what I want it to do. I just want to look at this very top um, graphic at first. And the other thing that you'll struggle with if you leave these two off is anything, whether it's off or it's on, if I turn all of the rest of these graphics except this one off, you'll notice it still influences your origin on where your start point is. So if you only wanted to kick out this particular graphic on your laser, and you were hoping to put your laser pointer right up here and start your project there, it's not going to allow you to do that because you've got graphics over here and it's going to, it's basically going to watch what happens to that red dot. It's going to move based on what graphics I've got. So typically 
as a rule, I don't ever have graphics to the left. I always have graphics to the right, and at least that uh, prevents some of the problems. But you can see that it would influence where your project starts if you have graphics to the left. And what I had to do in order to get this done is I had to change these graphics to just some other color and turn these options off. To me, that's pretty inefficient a way to do that. The way I would prefer to work is I would prefer to work uh, where I turn these two on and I'll show you the process on how easy it is to be able to select the things that you want to go to the laser even though you might have all kinds of things on your desktop. So again, your only option is to turn things off if you leave these off and uh, select this and then what happens if you want to, you're done with this one and you want to do this, now what you've got to do is you've got to highlight this, assign it to a different color, turn it off, turn these to a certain color, turn it back on, and it can be a pain. And so let me show you what I think is an easier way to do it. So what we're going to do now is I've changed all of my graphics on my desktop to the correct color layer that I want. In other words, blue is going to be fill for my engrave, red is going to be cut. I'm assuming that these are going to be different size leatherette patches, and I want to see what looks better. And you're going to be able to see that this is a much more faster, more efficient way to work in my opinion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, turn both of these on, and I, I 95% of the time, this is the way I work. I just find it more efficient. So now, the, the, the couple of things you want to keep in mind is right now if I go to preview, it's going to say you have cut selected graphics but you haven't selected anything. So this will generate you to, to do an additional step but it will save you time overall. So if I wanted to see what this top box looks like going out to the laser, I have to select it. So I've got to window it. And once it's selected, now I can go ahead and preview it. And you notice that I get just what I've selected is going to be what's going to output to the laser. Even though I've got all of this other stuff and the output is on, the big difference is that it's only going to output what you select. So even if I just, let's say that I wasn't, I didn't want to cut out anything, I just wanted to engrave something, I could select the logo and kick it out to the laser and get my settings dialed in <clears throat> before I actually turn this into a, a certain project. Or if I wanted to do a cut right quick and dial in my cut settings, all I'm doing is making a selection and it's only going to pick that layer uh, to do the selection. You'll also notice, <clears throat> and this is important, um, with this use selection origin on, You'll notice that right now, if I select both of these graphics, it's the, the, the origin is going to stay in that upper left-hand corner. Um, if I would just select this graphic, you notice now that the uh, origin moved. And so that can, be, uh, that can help or hurt you. You just got to pay attention to what you're doing. But the nice thing about it is now it's very quick for me to say, okay, I, I'm not sure that I like the, uh, that layout. Let me look at that layout. And you notice that my margin, or excuse me, my origin followed the graphics that I selected. And so just that quick now, I'm only going to send this, these two layers to the laser. And all the rest of the graphics that you have on your desktop is going to be completely ignored. Maybe I wanted to see how this phone number is going to look. Maybe I'm not sure about the font or the size. I can just select it and send it to the laser and get it dialed in for my settings. And even in some cases, this is I do this all the time with Leatherette. And a lot of times what will happen is I'll actually come in here, I'll ungroup this, <clears throat> I'll turn this uh, to a separate layer color so I can have the settings just a little bit different than the bigger portion and that way you can really uh, dial in your settings. So 
Uh, again, it's one of those deals where you have a lot more flexibility. Now, the only other thing you're going to have to do is, yes, you will have to make your selection. But <clears throat> it's very clear and concise on kind of what you expect to go to the laser. Let's say that um, I only want just this and this to go to the laser. And that's exactly what you're going to get. So let's say that you have a piece of leatherette, and this happens to me all the time, if you have some small font, and you need to go ahead and do a second uh, uh, pass that you weren't planning on. Well, you can go ahead and just turn your cut off, come over here and select this layer here, and resend that to the layer for a second pass, without taking it out of the laser and now you've got uh, your ability to kind of ad hoc. Let's say that for some reason one of these C's didn't work out real well. You could actually just select the C um, and what you'd want to do is you'd want to keep your origin the same and then just select the C and away you go. So you can systematically just select portions of your design that you need to either redo uh, or modify. And so give this a try. Um, I, like I said, cut selected graphics and use selected origin, in my mind, is really uh, a great way to go, especially if you have a whole lot of things on your desktop. So let's talk a little bit about when you turn the use selection origin off. I, I do this quite a bit as well. A good example would be, let's say that you were doing a leatherette patch and part of this text didn't turn out very well. Matter of fact, you needed to maybe uh, run another uh, a pass over just the text. Um, the way I would usually do that is I would come up here and I would turn off the output because I don't want to cut it again. And then what I would do is I would come over here, turn this use selection origin off. So the origin stays put. In other words, I don't want to change my origin or uh, when I go to engrave this text, it, the origin is not going to be right. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to highlight what I want to take a second pass at. And now you can send this strictly to the laser without having to, uh, uh, you know, do any of the rest of this. And you'll notice now just the text is going to go to the laser. They're still going to use the same origin. Or let's say that you had a particular, like let's, let's say that you had this C that you needed to go ahead and re-engrave. Now you can go ahead and just send very specific spots in your design if they need a second pass. And in some cases, whether it's you're engraving wood or um, several other things, um, knowing what this use selection origin, what that does is if I, when I turn it off, it's going to go to the top left hand corner based on the way I've got this selected even though that selection is off um, which you can use to your advantage right because I don't want to have to recut this patch I just want to do some uh, some touch-up work shall we say so uh, using both of these on or using the use selection origin off to redo certain parts of your design can really be helpful. Let's say that I wanted to just do this section. I wanted to change my setting. Uh, I needed to uh, tweak it a little bit and then I could send just that part of my design uh, back to the laser to be able to redo it. And so, um, like in this particular case, it's really handy because you can go ahead and pick and choose. You don't have to do the whole thing over again. Maybe this is just perfect, but these finer aspects of your design are a problem and you need to spend a little time dialing in your settings. Uh, this way you can kind of pick and choose what you actually kick out to the laser and not waste a lot of time and materials. So play with these two uh, radio buttons. They're very useful, very handy, and I think you'll uh, like them once you get to using them. As usual, I hope this information was helpful. If you guys would please like and subscribe, I'd sure appreciate it. If you like my content, hit that thanks button. I'd sure appreciate it. And until next time, have a great day.